Welcome to the 44th annual Hornell Sports Night. We are here with the one and only, he's so delicious, Buff the Stuff Bagwell. And wow. Buff, welcome to Hornell. Hey man, how about this? First time Buff Bagwell's ever been to Hornell. First time ever. This is first time ever, so I love it. I love being here. This area was, you know, was really back in the WWF. You know, this is WWF territory, so, you know, uh, WCW days, we didn't come up here a whole lot. So, uh, I love it up this way. We just didn't get a chance to get up here a lot, but uh, glad to be here now and glad to be up here for a good occasion. And, uh, you know, Bruce Smith's here and, uh, you know, Brett Saberhagen, and I'm here with him, Buff Bagel. So, I'm, I'm just excited to be here. Yeah, and I got to tell you, no question about it, one of the most famous groups of all time, pro wrestling history, the NWO. Certainly for a staple <laughs> for life. And it is certainly a staple. Talk about that time of the business. It was incredible. Uh, you know, when they back then wrestling, we literally had to beg 500 people to come in to watch us wrestle for free, just to get a just to get a show taped. All the way to I saw a hundred thousand people buying tickets to come see us. Mm -hmm. So I saw the whole the whole roller coaster, you know, and it was it was really a lot of fun watching it, you know. Mm -hmm. But long story short, to see it go from five hundred people that got in free to a hundred thousand people that paid, it was a, a lot of fun and the NWO was the entire reason behind that. We painted this picture of a of a really good storyline and it really worked. Mm -hmm and it took off and uh it really was a lot of fun and people loved it yeah it was it, great tv it really was you it know was i'm great. certainly a fan of, of nitro and sure. the monday night wars back the then flip, 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 raw back, nitro, back and, raw and, nitro. and this is important so i want to make sure we get a two shot on this right here right now is yeah you know, going back pro wrestling illustrated the magazines all that stuff from the 90s and the 80s and so on yeah i gotta ask you the biggest question of the night what makes you so delicious? <laughs> well, if you can't see through looking at your camera, then maybe that's the problem. Because I really am this good looking. There's no filter on this. I just happen to be really good looking. I'm buff, I'm this stuff, and the girls just can't get enough. <laughs> I love it. Buff Bagwell, final question here tonight is uh, you come to an event like this yes. and you see people that maybe are fans of yours for, for many, many years sure. and to meet them for the first time, what, what's the goal is that they leave here with a smile on their face? Absolutely. Uh, believe it or not, I wrestled for years in front of those, you know, 75 to 100,000 people and never got a chance to meet anybody. And then I go to these independent wrestling shows where there's, you know, two or 3,000 people and you get to meet everybody. These kind of occasions are really a lot more fun for the fan and really they are for me too because the fan actually gets to walk up, really gets to meet you, shake your hand, say hello, and really gets to ask that maybe that wrestling question they want to know where before we may have wrestled in front of 100,000 but I didn't get to meet one of them. And yeah. so I enjoy the fans being able to come up and shake your hand and actually say hello. And, you know, so to me, it's much more intimate. And I'm a huge, huge people person. I love people. I like talking. And so it's a lot of fun to me and it's a lot of fun to the fans and it just works. Yeah, it so I really enjoy it. Yeah, well, it's yeah. great to have you here, Buff. And uh, me being a wrestling guy, I got to ask you real quick, though. One more thing just popped in my head. Uh, the wrestling business has certainly changed a lot in the last yes. 15, 20 years. Yes. Uh, the landscape has changed. The WWE Network has really changed the game as well. Um, There's not even a WWF no more. Right. You know, the, the World Wildlife Fund took that. So it's it got really confusing for the typical wrestling fan. I mean, all in one, bam, WWF was gone, WCW was gone, and MMA was in. It was very confusing. And we lost a lot of fans through that. We really did. We still have. We lost a lot of fans with that, and it just hurt because nobody really understood. If you were no wrestling fan whatsoever, you still knew the initials, the WWF. Well, when they did away with that, it, it, was, it changed the game. And so everybody got a little bit confused. Yeah. And all of a sudden there's no WCW and there's no WWF. Wait a minute, what's going on? I think it was easier just to turn it off. And people did. And it's, 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 it's had a big comeback now. Uh, and it's definitely got a, a lot more going on now, and Cena's done great. Uh, the Rock's done phenomenal. Um, but it's just really only a few made it out of that, you know, and The Rock's stone cold, and 
Cena or a handful of guys that really made it out. Of course, Hogan always makes it out. Right. Yeah. But there's only a few guys that really made it out on top. And, and I'm glad to see them do it. They've done very well for themselves. Yeah. Buff Bagwell, your greatest moment of all time. If you had to sit, really simplify it down, break it down. Buff Bagwell's greatest moment of all time, shoot. My greatest moment of all time had to be the night they asked me to join the NWO. That was like, hey, do you want to join, uh, do you want to join the, um, the Dallas Cowboys during their three year, during their three year, yeah. during their three year world, you know, world championship run. Of course you want to join them. So it was joining the best team at the, at the, at the best time. So joining that led to so many great things. Uh, I mean, I beat Ric Flair in the, in, in, the nature boy, which is really a rare statement. You don't get many people can't say that. I actually beat Ric Flair, which is a huge, uh, thing on my list, and um, but that just don't happen a lot. Rick don't lay down much, so he is the he is the Nature Boy. He's one of the best. But uh, there was a lot of bright times during that. But all of it exists from the N W O for, <laughs> for <right>. life. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Buff Bagwell. Final message to the people in Hornell. What is it going to be tonight? Tonight's going to be just a lot of guys getting together. We got Bruce going to be signing autographs. Bruce Smith, Marcus Bagwell, myself, Buff, and then we got uh, Br uh, Brett Saberhagen's here too. We're going to be signing some autographs and just saying hello to some fans. We got a nice dinner. Uh, we're gonna, I think we're going to give a little speech, you know, a little, little talk, and just have some fun. And uh, and all of this goes to the Special Olympics. It's all about paying back. Yeah. Buff Bagwell, we thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. And definitely, it's for life.